some fantastic instruments and so the class is showcasing their instruments with some music. Some of what you'll hear is mixes of classical instruments with homemade instruments. I made this at my house actually uh, in, back in Massachusetts uh, over Thanksgiving break. It took two full days of work, sun up to sundown essentially. This here is a, it's called the Tubulum. Uh, I got the idea from the Blue Man group and the kind of thing that they play, and they play something very similar to this. It took a lot of uh, various math equations to figure out how long a pipe needed to be for each note, and then there was a lot of kind of guess and check, so we'd cut it off and shave off pieces at a time to get the right notes. But it's just an, it's an E major scale, you know, when you go up it. Um, this is my Physics of Music project, a cigar box guitar, which is actually part of a recent revival of a long history of cigar box guitars. Uh, they kind of started in kind of poverty with jug bands, you know, the washboard bass and those kinds of instruments. And uh, people made do with cursory understandings of acoustic principles, needing a resonating chamber. And uh, a lot of Delta Blues players used a slide so you can make a simple instrument such as this and get a pretty cool sound out of them. Made a slide monochord using two wooden sticks and a piezoelectric pickup, and basically you slide it back and forth, and you kind of play it percussively with this stick, and you hook it up to an amp, and it plays pretty well. I'm playing with uh, Jake with his tubes, and then a couple of guitars, and it should be pretty exciting. place in my house and continue to build these actually. Uh, this was such a fun project and now that I know how they work and what mistakes I made I can definitely make them a lot more quality and potentially get something that really sounds great. This is the University of Rochester.